cropped up a few months after the Beatles hit the scene, right? And the, the only grand design was that we have to do it different to the way they're doing it, you know? And they were playing it very clean, jolly, the four mop tops, you know? We were the opposite to them. It was the only, I mean, it was the most obvious way to go. There's no point in making records if you don't let people know <laughs> you, that it's there. And in that respect, yeah, we used to deliberately get ourselves thrown out of the Savoy Hotel in London and tell the press to come and say, you've got a good picture of us getting the boot. You know, so it's, it's kind of like a shadow. It's, it follows you around, and it's, but it's not really you. I'm not exactly the buccaneering pirate, but a weak old corpse that everybody thinks, obviously, look, I can move. <laughs> I wish there was a genius behind the Rolling Stones. Uh, then it would be easy, right? But there's no geniuses around here. We, we just work well together. First two or three months, we were virtually working without Nick because he was doing a solo thing. It was just a clash of timing, really. You know, and, not the most opportune timing, but uh, I think it came about because people walk in the studio and just see me bellowing into a microphone telling everybody what to do. So they oh, he's, he's pulling the strings these days, is he? You know? But I mean, as I always try and make clear, there's times, plenty of times when Mick has done it for me too. You know? So I, you know, is it, we cover each other when we have to. So this one then perhaps has more of your personal touch than some other albums have? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> they do him watching that stuff anyway if they don't like it, you know. I mean, it's a very simple thing. You turn it off. I think maybe that, that'll be when there'll be no more rock and roll when you don't get these occasional outbursts of indignation from mothers' unions and stuff, you know. Is that a healthy sign from the it's a performer's sign. standpoint yeah, that, I guess. that you're still creating some controversy? Yeah, I think it's a little necessary. You, you, need, you need to a little bit of friction and uh, otherwise you're stagnant, right? I mean, it doesn't mean anything. We can go back and listen to how much is that doggy in the window forever and, you know, the rock and roll does that. It does have a little bit of social abrasion. And of course it's going to upset certain sections of society at one time or another, you know. Otherwise we'll go back to Moon and June and all that, you know.